but that's exactly what I'm gonna try to do today. I'm going to be putting a GoPro on a fish, more specifically a gar. Time to let him in the water, see what he captures. What's going on guys, it's Raymond here. Today I am back at the spillway where I'm gonna be doing something pretty ambitious. Now in the past, you guys have seen me put GoPros on animals like painted turtles and snapping turtles, but I've never put a GoPro on a fish before. But that's exactly what I'm gonna try to do today. I'm going to be putting a GoPro on a fish, more specifically a gar. Now this is a video I have attempted in the past, but the biggest thing for today is I have to catch the biggest gar I can. Short-nosed gar typically don't get that big, but I'm hoping to catch one around two and a half or three feet long because it'll be perfect to strap a GoPro onto. Now I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do this but I'm super excited to try so if you guys are ready let's start fishing and see if we can get a GoPro on a gar. Now whenever I get a gar up on the surface this is the camera rig I'm going to try to get onto its back. Inside of this is my GoPro Hero 10. I got it attached to a wrist mount and I have a floaty attached to it. The biggest obstacle I face today is that short nose gar aren't very large and so a GoPro like this will usually be too heavy for them. Which is why I'm using the most lightweight mount I can and I've got the floaty attack so hopefully they'll keep the gar more buoyant. But yeah, I'm really hoping this will create some awesome footage for you guys. Now this is definitely the best place I've ever been to when it comes to seeing gar. Now when I fish for gar, I don't use typical bait. Today, I'm using minnows. Now I'm using minnows because gar love to chase food that's at the surface. And more specifically, they love going after small moving fish. So I've always had great luck with minnow at this spot when it comes to catching gar. Oh. Woo! There we go, come on, come on. Oh yeah, there we go. We have our first gar of the day. This is about the size I was hoping to come across today. Now the good thing about gar is they actually can survive a long time out of water. So keeping them out for too long isn't too much of a concern even though I do still want to dip them back into the water. All right, it's recording. Pretty sure you can pick it up on camera. It's pretty cool. Swimming around, hopefully getting some awesome footage. After letting this gar swim around for a few minutes, it was time to take him out of the water and try to catch my second gar of the day. Oh, yep, got one, got one. Oh, shoot. Just came off. I had him right here, too. Catching a second gar was a lot easier said than done, as I started to have a hard time getting one hooked. Got a gar. Had a gar. But eventually, I was able to reel one in and strap a GoPro onto its back. Time to let him in the water, see what he captures.
All right, so he's been in the water for about two or three minutes. I think that's long enough for a guard to be underwater with a GoPro. So I'm gonna reel him in. Oh. Well, just as I was reeling him in, he knocked the GoPro right off. All right, he was under there for a total of five minutes and 15 seconds. Hopefully getting some awesome footage. I can't wait to see it. All right guys, now I just got done packing up all my stuff. And honestly, I can't really believe I was able to pull this off today. Putting a GoPro on a gar or just a fish in general has been something I've wanted to do on my channel for a few years now. And I'm really excited to go home and check out all the footage that the gars captured. But that is going to wrap up today's video. But before you go, make sure to smash that like button, comment down below what you think, and most importantly, subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on awesome videos just like this one. I'm Raymond Tiller, and I'll see you on the next video.